The next presenter is Jianxin Duan from uh, Schrodinger. All right, uh, my name is Jianxin, I come from Schrodinger, and for you who are not familiar with uh, Schrodinger, uh, that's a guy's name, but uh, as a company, what we do is, uh, <laughs> if you don't know yet, then, then well, you should check out your chemistry book. Um, so, so we are a company that do computational chemistry, and uh, we do quantum mechanics, molecular mechanics, force field development, docking, homology modeling, pharmacal for search, et cetera. But um, this, that's not the topics I want to talk to you about. Um, what I want to talk about is Sera. That's a tool we, um, we uh, a product that we offer that um, is for data sharing and visualization. So what is Sera? So it, it is a, a biologically aware chemical spreadsheet. So it's aware of chemical, um, biological essays. And uh, it was developed in cellular uh, genomics around 2003 and uh, spun out in 2006. So since 2010, is part of Schrodinger. And what it really does for you is you provide data access from a very broad mixture of in-house or in-licensed databases, and uh, it provides you the capability of doing compound assay registration. Um, it searches and query chemical, physical, and biological properties. Um, you can use it to analyze ACR, get an ACR table. Uh, you can share your data with your colleagues through one-click live reports and uh, for plotting and visualization and data mining. So it's a rich inter internet application and it's open system. You can incorporate third-party or in-house computational tools into the platform. And I mentioned the searching. So this is a screenshot of the searching, advanced searching panel. I know far back it's very difficult to see what it is, um, but just want to point out a couple of things. Um, there's database filter, you want to point out which database you want to search. There are um, essay filters which, where you can search by essay, different essay types, uh, range of activities, and you can actually add additional tabs to have an and or relationship for the searching. And also there are compound filter down here. Um, once you've done the search, there are different ways to visualize the data. Uh, one way we can do it is essentially the spreadsheet where you have the compounds, where you have the um, properties, including activities. You can do coloring of the cells, you can wrangle it, sort and uh, in different orders. And you can also visualize in the form format or using different plots, uh, scatter plots, box plots, etc. And uh, you can organize your work. So for example, I've done a search and I saved the search and I can have, the, have a repository of different reports. So these searches become a report. And you can access to your own projects, so own reports or your colleagues' reports. And these reports can be updated every night uh, whenever you open it or at the time you generate it. So the different options. And uh, um, so, this is for organization for existing data, so enumeration of, and so this is for SAR, so suppose you have a core structure, then you have the R groups, and you can quickly visualize where I have the compounds, and what are the activities, and where the colors, it's rather easy to pick where are the hotspots or cold spots. But you can also just choose the empty cells and say, um, I want to generate um, in silico molecules for those combinations, and please just do that for me, and I can explore those. That's also possible. Um, ChemAxon technology is integrated. We have uh, JChem cartridge, uh, Marvin Sketch, property calculation, subject search, uh, all from ChemAxon in Sera. So uh, recently we came out with a new version. Uh, it's released 6.4. Uh, it has now dynamic filtering assay display. So earlier we have dynamic filtering when you do plots. Now you can actually do a dynamic filtering. You can see the tables, that cells that get, got hidden. Um, and you can register and report at parent plus salt or parent plus um, batch and salt identifiers. You can transpose to a uh, transposition or transpose the, the essay display. So you have the molecules um, as the top row and the essays um, on the side. And you can export this to PowerPoint. So by exporting to PowerPoint, it is not that you export as a picture. So you can actually export it as a object. So each of these molecules they have, um, these are Marvin embedded um, objects. 
So if you double click or you choose right click, choose moving object, you can actually open up an editor to edit that molecule. And with that, that's pretty much my last slide. And uh, I thank you for your attention. So if you have questions, please just grab me. Um, hope I'm easy to spot. Thank you. <laughs>